an approximate resemblance between the characteristics of black holes and the principles of thermodynamics was discovered by general relativity researchers in the early 1970s. As Stephen Hawking demonstrated, the event horizon of a black hole, which serves as its border, cannot become smaller. They had an uncanny resemblance to a second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy, which is a measure of disorder, cannot decrease. To know what all we were wrong about black holes, continue watching our channel, Theory of Science. Before you get trapped in a black hole, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to receive notifications. One of the universe's most puzzling features is black holes. To begin with, they are a consequence of enormous space-time distortion and not actual objects. They are different sizes of black hole. The smallest black hole ever found has a mass of about 3.8 solar masses. On the other end of the spectrum, there are black holes that have existed for nearly as long as the universe itself and that are billions of solar masses in size. The diameter of these behemoths, which are both vast and enormous, is large enough for them to fit into the solar system comfortably. The first stellar mass black hole ever discovered is at least 50% larger than previously estimated, according to astronomers who have studied it again. It has been determined that through new calculations that the black hole in the X-ray binary system Cygnus X1 is 21 times as massive as the Sun. As a result, it's the largest stellar mass black hole ever discovered without the aid of gravitational waves, which is prompting astronomers to reconsider how black holes emerge. When Cygnus X1 was first identified as an X-ray source in 1964, astronomers Kip Thorne and Stephen Hawking gambled on whether or not it was a black hole. The black hole theory of the object's existence was later confirmed by researchers, who came to the conclusion that the X-ray emission was caused by the black hole munching on a binary companion. The ultimate phase of the life cycles of especially big stars is where black holes are being formed nowadays. Such a star essentially balances the weight of two forces when it is born. Its mass is pulled toward the center by gravity, which is the first factor. Hydrogen atoms are smashed against one another in the star's interior with such force that they come together to form the denser element helium. It turns out that the energy required by this new atomic structure is lower than it was when the hydrogen atoms were two distinct, independent ones, and the surplus energy is then released. The second force is this released energy. To counteract the force of gravity pulling in, the star's core radiates heat and light outward. Before you get trapped in a black hole, make sure that you already subscribe to our channel, otherwise we will lose a subscriber. Just joking. But please subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. According to scientific theory, a black hole is really denser and smaller than a neutron star. In fact, it is most likely endlessly small and dense, a singularity generating force that alters time and space themselves. We are unsure though, the event horizon is the cause of our ignorance, and it is the reason why we don't know. All mass-containing objects experience gravity. Since Newton's time, we have known this. However, a contemporary of Einstein's named Carl Schwarzschild deducted from his 1915 theory of general relativity that there might exist objects that were so heavy that they produced enough gravity to prevent light from escaping. Nothing could escape if massless light photons couldn't. A black hole's actual appearance can not be seen when viewing a picture of one. You can see the event horizon surrounding it, which is the boundary where gravity has intensified to the point where light can no longer escape. Nothing except blackness is present. Bekenstein maintained that the second law similarity was a real identity because a black hole surface area was proportionate to its entropy. Hawking discovered in 1974 that black holes seem to produce radiation, now known as Hawking radiation, and that this radiation has the same temperature as a black hole in a thermodynamic analogy. This link gives researchers a tantalizing glimpse into what many people believe to be the biggest theoretical physics conundrum, how to reconcile quantum mechanics, our theory of the extremely small, with general relativity. After all, statistical mechanics, which analyzes the behavior of every invisible atom in a system, is where thermodynamics first emerged. We can assume that a black hole's fundamental, indivisible components can all be statistically described if it complies with the thermodynamic rules. However, such components aren't atoms in the case of a black hole. There must be some fundamental component of gravity that forms the framework of space and time. The principles of black hole thermodynamics originate from microscopic gravity, and any proposal for a theory of quantum gravity must clarify how this occurs and, in specifically, why the entropy to area relationship occurs. Few people also challenge the validity of the assertion that black hole thermodynamics and regular thermodynamics are related. 
But what if the comparison that connects the two is really a rough approximation with little basis in reality? What would that imply for the decades of research in loop quantum gravity, string theory, and other fields? According to Craig Callender, a philosopher of science at the University of California, San Diego, the infamous principles of black hole thermodynamics may simply be a helpful analogy taken too far. People began to discover certain parallels between the two in early 1970s. One is that both seem to be in a condition of equilibrium. A small number of variables, such as pressure, volume, and temperature can adequately represent it. The same is true of a black hole. It can be explained by its mass, angular momentum, and charge alone. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content like this. Hit the bell icon to receive notifications, and also, check out our channel for more interesting videos like this. See you next time.